I write everywhere. I've always uh, thought that if you're going to be a foreign correspondent, you have to cultivate the ability to write in the back of cars, to write in uh, some ghastly hotels. And most of the time I'm writing in a busy, noisy newsroom environment with phones ringing around me. Occasionally, I'm going to take a, a pen out and try and scribble down some thoughts on a jotter next to me. That's a, a way of just directing my attention. The other day, I was standing in the street five minutes early for a doctor's appointment, and I tapped out a blog post on my BlackBerry that was up on the Telegraph website by the time I'd left the doctor's 15 minutes later. I don't really worry about what sort of device I use, so long as it works, so long as it's not too uh, heavy. I try to mix my commentary and my political analysis and description with real uh, examples from outside the world of politics so as to make them less enclosed. Numerous days it goes wrong uh, and it doesn't work and it's not funny, but actually comedy isn't everything in a sketch. And uh, the acid can work just as well as the alkaline. I think it's when you are just sitting, uh, you know, uh, thumb sucking and smoking the pipe, that that's when, as a commentator, you can start getting adrift and just getting into, uh, into your own head too much. So I think being a reporter and a reporter columnist is the way to go. I try to be quite careful about casually insulting someone because I understand they're real people and real people have their feelings hurt. I think you can tell the truth often without making cheap jokes at people's expenses. Expense, or expenses actually. Uh, especially as, you're, as I'm someone to whom a cheap joke comes quite easily. That requires some restraint.